Oops. Hi, Kitty. We are already live. Really? Uh, we are. People can hear us. And so this does not work the same way as our other sessions because we're going to get to see everybody. So right now we're, um, we're broadcasting. Yeah. And there is somebody, Janet. Welcome. Very early. We see people in here. Um, Hopefully you see my screen. Everybody, everybody's here for a little test now. So, um, So we'll welcome everybody here in this preview. No, Andy and Katie are here. You guys can put your camera on. Everybody can actually put their camera on. And what I'm going to do is I... Andy, that background is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I spent about 20 minutes picking it. <laughs> <laughs> My computer is not um, new enough to handle a background. <laughs> well, tell me, I'm going to try to spotlight video so we can get my, um, my PowerPoint on um, spotlight. Let's see if that works or if it spotlights my camera. So did it spotlight my person or my, my slide? I, I only see the welcome. Awesome. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Great. That worked. Yay. Do you see the do you do you see each other though? I can see Katie up top. Okay, great. Okay, and there's Helene. Hi, Helene. We're broadcasting. We're broadcasting live. Hi, everybody. Hi. There's no, there's no okay. test period in the meeting set up here today, so we have a Well, welcome have everybody. I should change my name while I'm here. And Katie, it's going to go right into the PowerPoint, so we won't do an intro up top. Okay. And I think that was... Changing mine, too. Oh, definitely. So we see Denise. Hi, Denise. Great to see you. Well, I don't see you, but I know you're there. Hi, Katie. Hi. There's gallery view. I knew I thought I'd do something. There we go. Now I see everybody. Right. On the side, right? Because the, the, yep. screen is, the screen is still the welcome, right? Yep. So we are good. We are good. So let's see what we've got. Um, just see how many people are here. Sure. 
Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. That's a problem. 231. Well, you guys are really you see you're popular. 231. Mm -hmm. It's like um Andy, it's like back to the future, how you disappear, <laughs> right? <laughs> I need to just adjust my lighting. Oh my gosh. That's a great question that's in here, actually. It's a great question. That's some good questions, yep. Yeah, I see that the, the number three is a great question. Yeah. And there's Maria. Hi, Maria. So this should be fun. We should have some, a good time tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. Are we going to laugh? Come on, it's all about laughing. Laughter. <laughs> yes. We're just going to learn that it's good for you, but we're not going to do it. I just got to say, Andy has the best laugh. <laughs> she does, and so contagious. Starts, starts her diaphragm, kind of, you know? <laughs> now I'm self-conscious. I saw people online today on Facebook talking about how excited they were about oh. the session tonight. So we're going to have some fun. There were some fun people. Some people I knew, some people I didn't know. Hi, Marie. We see Marie Gifford has joined. Tell us in the chat box right there in the app. Tell us where you're from. And just so you know, guys, now this is Helene. I'll be in the chat box chatting. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. Because <laughs> I like to chat. And there's, we have Raven. Hi, Raven Page. Nice to meet you, Emily. So glad that everybody joined us. I'm so excited. I know we <laughs> love friends. We love new friends. <sighs> and we love our old friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Truth. Katie, how was um, your puppy's birthday party? So good and loved your videos. <laughs> you watch the video, it was long. I, isn't that amazing? I was like, I was laughing because I always think I don't have good enrollment skills, but then I was like, oh, that's just my story around money stuff because I enrolled 36 minutes of dog videos. So, so for everybody who's listening, it was Katie's dog's birthday and she put out a call <laughs> for everybody to do a video for her dog with this particular app. It's so the all did videos saying happy birthday to Obi. It was awesome. And then the time came in late too. So it probably would have been around like 44 minutes, which is yeah. hysterical because you can only, you pay 15 bucks for the app and you get 50 minutes of storage space. And then they make it into like, you know, the montage and the music and stuff. And I was like, well, it's worth it for 15 bucks, even if it's just like five minutes, right. it's just going to make me smile whenever I'm having a hard day. And instead it was like, it was like watching a movie. It was that long. Yeah, I, I loved it. I've watched it a ridiculous amount of times. Well, we have more people joining us, and I'm sure it's gonna, they're going to pile in here the last five minutes until it's time to start. We were, just, we were all just talking about Katie's dog's birthday in the video. <laughs> we all contributed to the video, the birthday video. The birthday video. I, I never do those things, but it was Katie's dog's birthday, so I had to. <laughs> That's a big deal. It was a big deal for me. Well, I'm a dog lover, so it was, I, you know, I, I just had to. You know, it wasn't but, that, like, you know, it wasn't that. I mean, I like other people's dogs. I like your dog, Helene, but I don't usually like myself on video, even though I do these webinar things all the time. Mm. And now I have you forever. <laughs> you do. But it was, it was on vacation. It was a nice scene. Oh, good. Look, we get to see people. Awesome. And if anyone has a pet, you feel free to put them on camera. <laughs> My pets have been I hiding. I love seeing everybody. I like scrolling through and seeing animals. <laughs> <laughs> Looks as I can see more people here. Andy, where's your cat? Oh, uh, I'm pretty good. around. She was just over. Oh, there so, she is. Can I just tell everybody who's joining us? This is, this is way more fun if your camera's on. Hi there, Alina. We don't really care what you're wearing, if you did makeup or not today. We don't care. <laughs> these things are way more fun when you have your cameras on. Yes. So. Oh, yay! Faces! I know, this is great. <laughs> ah, awesome. so cute. Oh, I love those glasses. 
The yellow glasses are very cool. Oh, good. I want to pronounce it. Mari, is it Mari? Did I get it right? <laughs> yep. Those great yellow glasses, Raven with her cool hat. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Denise and the family. Man, we got a great group here. Oh, there's Denise. Denise always has a group with her whenever she does. I know. <laughs> We're going to ask you all to stay on mute until there's a time when we say unmute yourself. But um, if, you don't, if you don't follow directions, Helene is going to shut you all off. <laughs> 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 but no, we're gonna have fun tonight. This is not gonna. This is gonna be your least. Hi there, Denise and friend and family. This is gonna be your okay. least serious session of the entire summit. <laughs> Susan, Susan Wilson has a great painting behind her. I don't know what it is, but that's great, Susan. Whatever I see behind you. And I'm gonna. I, I hope I don't get the name wrong, but I, I want to say, Gula. Is that saying that right? Yeah. Awesome. Right. Excellent. Love She's the spiral staircase back there. <laughs> Get ready to laugh, guys. And we have, yep, we'll wait a few more minutes. Oh, people are joining Fast and Furious now. See that? A couple of minutes left. Danielle, we should all, you know what? We should all be laughing when they join, and then they think they're missing yeah. something. <laughs> Danielle, you have to put your video on, because you are my Staten Island girl and live right by me, so I need to see your face. You and I have been talking. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's joining now. Get those cameras on and keep the. There you are. Hi, girlfriend. You and I have been emailing. Oh, Mountain Goat's just oh, joined me. Come here. <laughs> she ran My away. Susan. Oh. So, are you guys all still seeing the welcome sign? The welcome video? The welcome slide? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And then I see faces up top. Julia. We don't see Julia up there. We see Janet and Alex and Kristen. George, welcome, George. Take your cameras off, put it on. It's more fun. I know we want to see you. Yeah, we won't have as much fun if we can't see all the laughing faces. <laughs> so. Okay, we got people joining here. Come in, wait a couple more minutes. I love it. I like the, the Maria's got a, her family with her. See that? Got a beautiful, I want to say, I sort of see half, I think it's a son of Marius. <laughs> Hi. 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 I'm Daniela's mom. Oh, you're Daniela. Eileen. <laughs> Yes, hi. Yes, I remember. Oh, yes. Uh, How are you? Yes, Daniela is with another <laughs> conference. Oh, so, okay. So you're here. Great. Yeah, I'm here with my son. <laughs> awesome. Hi there. How adorable. Hi. So I want everybody to put their cameras on and their audio off. And we'll give it like two more minutes and then we'll, and then we'll start. It's almost 7.30. Perfect. So quiet, everybody's saving up now. Andy, Andy and Katie are saving up. So you want to welcome everybody. People are still joining quickly, so we'll give them like another minute and then we'll get started. Is my audio okay? Is that Andy? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. You're, okay. you're, I hear you great. Everybody else give thumbs up. Do you hear Andy? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm using my headphones. Okay. Okay, great. See lots of friends out there. Well, I see Ruth logged on, but I don't see her face. We know Ruth from St. Louis. Heather, hi Heather. Hey Heather. Heather from Chicago. Hey, Betsy. Betsy from nice. Costa Rica. Look at this. Yep. So great to see all our friends tonight. So this is the casual night. This is fun night. <laughs> Medicine, no surgery tonight. <laughs> Love it. Gotta, gotta take care of our minds as well as our bodies. So welcome, Liz. We'll give it another minute. People are joining. If you're joining now, just remember cameras on. What do you offer now?
And um, I think we should start. I think we should give another minute, Helene. Yeah, we got people still joining. So we've got 44. So let's give it another 45. It keeps, keeps going. Yeah. Yeah, we saw a couple hundred people who were hoping that they would be able to make it tonight. So hopefully a lot of them can join live. It's way much more fun to be on here live than watch the recording for this one. <laughs> we'll have to get Kelly to edit that out though <laughs> for the recording. <laughs> yeah, here come every here comes everybody. So we got a couple of people who are still chicken, don't have their video cameras on. I know. I we're see not that. judge their webcams. We're not judge judging anybody. <laughs> we all have quarantine hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see Nikki Bobby. Nikki, you better put your video Where's on. Nikki? There's Christy. Well, Nikki's, Nikki's right above Christy. I Nikki, oh, you know what? I got page two here. Oh, we got lots of people. I didn't see I all you guys. We got 56 people Christy. going. There's I Nikki. Christy was coming. I knew yes. Nikki was coming. <laughs> Rowan. Hi, Rowan. Hi, Rowan's here. But yeah. I don't see your face. Come on, you guys. We want to see your faces. This is about laughing and smiling. So. <laughs> Uh, I need to check one thing here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think we should start. Okay, we get a lot of people on here. I think we should start. So you can all see my welcome slide, right? Okay. Yes. All right, so here we go. So welcome everybody. This is your official welcome to tonight's session on the healing power of laughter. Um, we're gonna have a really good time tonight and we're so happy to have you here for the International E3 Summit. Um, educating, empowering, and enriching our community. I think it should be also entertaining tonight. Um, this <laughs> summit's brought to you by the Marfan Foundation and its divisions, the Lois Dietz Syndrome Foundation and the Beds Movement, and our partners in Europe um, from the CERN. And I hope you've had a chance to hear some of those speakers. They're really incredible. Um, it's nice to have such a mix of Europeans and Americans giving these talks. Um, oops, I want to also shout out our presenting sponsors. Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, and American Communications Construction, which is based in Houston. Um, and I also want to tell everybody, if they didn't hear earlier, that also on here with me tonight is uh, my colleague, Helene Baruch, and she is our official chat moderator. And so if you're, and she's also our official shutting off your audio, if you put your audio on at the wrong time. So <laughs> that's Helene, that's what she's going to be doing for you tonight. So um, before we start, I'm obligated to share this with you, although you, this is not really a scientific presentation tonight, um, I just want to let you know that the opinions expressed during these sessions are not necessarily those of the Marfan Foundation or Bacern. We pretty much are all about laughter, and it probably doesn't hold true for this, but we need to say that anyway. Um, and so what we're going to do now is we are going to start with a little science lesson on laughter. You didn't think there was going to be any science tonight, right? But there is a little bit. So let's go with this from Andy. All right, I'm super excited. It's Andy. Woo! I'm so excited to be presenting today. And before we get started with the activities, this is an interactive workshop. So be prepared to laugh and have a fun time. But before we dive into our activities, we have some science I wanted to share for you with this presentation. So yep, let's dive right in. Hi, I'm Andy Erickson. In case you didn't know who I was, I'm a professional stand-up comedian. I've been performing comedy for 12 years, which is wild. I can't believe it's been that long, but it's what I do for a living. It's my job. I make people laugh and I love it. It's so much fun. It's actually how I got involved with the Marfan Foundation. And some of my credits, I was third place on NBC's Last Comic Standing. I was in the show Scream Queens as well as an actress who had Marfan syndrome in the show. It was really cool. And I was diagnosed with Marfan syndrome at age three. I've had heart surgery, back surgery, spine surgery, eye surgery, all of it. And I used laughter throughout my entire life to get through so many hard times. And it became my job. <laughs> all right, so let's dive into the science. Can laughter heal? Turns out it can, for real, science, yay. Uh, so laughter relaxes the whole body. 
A good hearty laugh relieves physical tension and stress, leaving your muscles relaxed for up to 45 minutes after, which is pretty awesome. And, and when they talk about this, they do mean laughter. If you kind of just smile or chuckle, uh, you really got to laugh like, <laughs> that was pretty hearty. Oh, and look at that. I feel less tense. <laughs> oh, it does. I actually do. This is great. Um, laughter boosts the immune system. Laughter decreases stress hormones and increases immune cells and infection fighting antibodies, thus improving your resistance to disease. So maybe laughter is the best medicine. Or maybe not, but <laughs> it, it can work. So if you, next time you go to the doctor and the doctor asks how you're doing, just just laugh a whole time. Just just laugh. Oh yeah, here let me check your reflexes. Just laugh the entire time, and you'll you'll get double the benefit for your money. Um, laughter triggers the release of endorphins. Endorphins are the body's natural feel-good chemicals. Endorphins promote an overall sense of well-being and can even temporarily relieve pain. And I've experienced this, that while laughing, I feel less pain and I deal with chronic pain and, and it's kind of wild how it works. And even when I'm on stage performing, I laugh a lot while I'm telling jokes, like I get really into it and I'm just having a ton of fun. And if I've been having like a really bad pain day, I don't feel or realize I'm in pain the entire time I'm performing. It's it's kind of like magic. So it's a way to just, I think you're living in the moment and just laughing as they're saying, you're releasing endorphins and, and it's, it's a good experience. So I think, you know, you can go to the doctor by going to a comedy show, <laughs> maybe not, but, <laughs> but go to a comedy show and uh, it's, it's a, it's not covered under your health insurance, I bet, but it can release endorphins and make you feel good, which is pretty cool. Laughter protects the heart, which I thought was so great. Like, that's perfect. Laughter improves the function of blood vessels and increases blood flow, which can help protect you against a heart attack and other cardiovascular problems, which is amazing. I, I, it's pretty cool just to see a lot of benefits that come from something just so silly and kind of just fun. It's like laughing. <laughs> ah, I love it so much. Okay. Uh, laughter burns calories. What? Okay, so it's no replacement for going to the gym, but one study found that laughing for 10 to 15 minutes a day can burn approximately 40 calories, which could be enough to lose three or four pounds over the course of a year. Oh my gosh, which is perfect for my workout routines, like my diet routines. I, I want to, my goal is to lose about one pound every four months, <laughs> which is pretty great. That's, it's attainable, right? One pound every four months after a year, it works. So I just kind of just, just go to the gym and laugh. That's what I think you should do. Just go to the gym and just laugh. It's just on any machine. You don't even have to work out, but just laugh. <laughs> You'll make some friends. Um, all right, we got a few more benefits. Laughter lightens anger's heavy load, which is just another benefit. Nothing diffuses anger and conflict faster than a shared laugh. Looking at the funny side can put problems into perspective and enable you to move on from confrontations without holding on to bitterness or resentment. This is something I have learned as well too, just using jokes and humor to heal conflicts, um, which is pretty cool. Laughter may even help you to live longer. A study in Norway found that people with a strong sense of humor outlive those who don't laugh as much. The difference was particularly notable for those battling cancer. Another awesome benefit. Let's all live forever and laugh <laughs> and have a great time. Oh man, I know. And it's, it's just so great too, because my experience with the Marfan community has been amazing. And I found that we have a great sense of humor. So many people that I've met, it's like, we have to live with this condition and we learn to laugh. And it's a big part of just coping and life and just connecting with others as well. So the last sci science fact here is that laughter raises DHEA, dehydroepiandrosterone levels. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> Many researchers consider high levels of DHEA, a steroid hormone produced by the adrenal glands, a marker of health in the body. Studies indicate that DHEA, which declines with age, has anti-aging, anti-cancer, 
and anti-obesity effects and can enhance mental abilities, which I love that too. Laughing makes you smarter, <laughs> so which is pretty exciting. So these are a lot of benefits and um, it's kind of just a basic look at just some of the benefits. There's been lots of studies done as well. I got this information from helpguide.org, so you can check that out to learn more about the science. But the takeaway here is make laughter part of your healthcare routine. Um, find time to laugh and don't let yourself feel guilty about watching a funny movie if you, if you need it or you know, listening to a funny comedy set and just hanging out with your friends and laughing. It's, it's a good part of life and it has health benefits and it heals. And we're gonna continue now and we're gonna be doing some exercises and having a ton of fun. So I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. I'm excited. Thank you for listening. We're doing it. So thank you, Andy. But now I'm going to stop sharing my screen and now we can focus on you. So take it away. All right, thank you guys. That was so awesome. Woo, that was the science. We have a lot more fun planned too. I'm gonna pop and introduce Katie, introduce herself. She's got a, a few things to say and then we'll get to some exercises. So welcome Katie. Woo. Oh, I think you're muted. Okay, I was muted, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I am Katie for you guys who don't know me. So I don't have Marfins, but I've been part of the kind of like adopted in part of the family for the last, I think five, five years, Andy? 10, I don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, me and Andy have been friends for over 10 years now, and then part of the foundation. Um, but I do live with a, a bunch of chronic illnesses. I've had a bunch of 20-something surgeries, multiple organs removed and stuff. So I know the life of being in chronic pain and having to, uh, I don't know that Someone else talking? Everybody just make sure they're on mute. Everybody just make sure they're on mute. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I know, like, I, you know, I live a life where you make accommodations and you do all of that. So laughter, Andy and I actually met through the world of comedy, and we both realized that we were living with something that was not the norm, um, society's norm, and that we also, during all of this, that we get to uh, use laughter and how we've used it. So both of us are super excited to share this with you and the tools, and yep, that's everything, Andy. <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much, Katie. All right. So um, we're going to introduce the first exercise, and this one is fun. Everyone can do it, and, we're, and, it, and it's a requirement. You all have to do it. Are you ready? Are you scared? Are you excited? Okay, the first exercise is to smile. Go ahead and smile. Yes! Oh, my gosh, Christy! <laughs> and we're going through. We're looking at all the pictures, so make sure you're doing it. I love it. Smile, everyone. Are we gonna... Yay! Oh, and Elena's smiling and a wave, which is awesome. <laughs> I love even when people aren't waving to me out in public. I just wave because I get so excited and then I see the people behind they're waving, but I still love to just... <laughs> oh, Heather, you're on. Wave. <laughs> Heather, it's your time to shine. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, my gosh. Everyone, it just makes me so happy to see smiling faces. Hi. Uh, another wave smile. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And have you guys you noticed just simply, not even part of what Andy's trying to have us do, but just when you see someone else smile, the ripple effect, that's so positive that we all start smiling. When you see someone's joy, you automatically just like magnetic, take it on and it can shift you. It shifts like a reframe in your brain so quickly. So the people that don't have your cameras on, you're actually doing a disservice to the rest of us <laughs> by not having the ripple effect. <laughs> oh, so great. All right, so yeah, how do you guys feel? Who, raise your hand if you feel better, if you felt any different. Does anyone feel the effects of just smiling? I know you're also dealing with being shy and on camera and things like that, yes. but you're all beautiful. <laughs> and I will always be weirder than you, so you don't have to worry about you. Crazy. We'll, yeah. we'll up it every time. <laughs> all right, Katie, you have the next exercise. All right, so for this next exercise, I'm going to ask you guys to do something, but one thing that I just want to explain first is just part of the brain. So I actually, I do speaking for a living and stuff, transformational work and personal growth work. And one of the areas that I have my practitioner certification in is neuro-linguistics programming. So it's all about the brain 
and about our thoughts and our emotions. So for this exercise, it's basically asking you guys just to say what you're grateful for, to count your blessings, to say what you're you know, grateful, thankful for, I'm, I'm blessed with this, however, whatever language you speaks to you. But what we want you to do is actually like really just take a moment to think about when we have a thought, whether it's positive or negative, that creates our emotional state. So from that thought pattern, if you're in a negative thought, if you're judging yourself or, you know, like I shouldn't be here, I don't look the right way, or I'm not taking my camera off <laughs> um, so people can see me, that thought, that judgment then hijacks your entire um, physiology within your body. And it actually kind of like freezes your brain in a pattern or a loop that's disturbing. It's not serving and it's not empowering. So we want to make sure that your thought process, that we're choosing a positive thought process to create a positive emotion. If I go somewhere, you know, to the beach and I'm like worried about what I look like in a bathing suit, my emotion that that thought is creating is then um, negative or not serving me, or it's, you know, like all emotions are good because they can give us information, but it's not a it's not an emotion that's then going to propel me forward in a positive way. So while we want you to do this, there's just two things I want you to um, really think about. I want you to think about a statement or something that you are blessed with, grateful for, thankful for, and I want you to just celebrate it in the way that you feel like your whole body embodying it from head to toe, like you can feel the experiences, really awaken your like five senses. If you're like super grateful for Thanksgiving when everyone, <laughs> it's such a like, um, hit or miss with Thanksgiving because people either love it or they hate all the family time. But, <laughs> but if it speaks to you, like, you know, think about the smells and all the family and the laughter and just really get in that moment. And then I want you to say out loud, we're all going to do it at once. So you guys don't have to worry about like, and you, if you have 10, just rattle them all off, but you're not, no one's going to be highlighted unless they want it to be. Um, and you're just going to say it. And then on a scale of one to 10, I want it to be something that you truly can embody and feel because it doesn't do us any good to try to reframe our thought process and break the old habits and the limiting beliefs by taking on a belief that's so, so far removed from something that we can actually believe ourselves. So, you know, if you, if you really, really struggled with something and if, you know, you went to the beach and that was something that's a huge struggle for you, for you to just be like, I'm the hottest chick on the beach, that might be such a far stretch that then I would make it comedy again and I'd be joking. And we're not trying to take our, like, we're not trying to make a joke of this. So on a scale of one to 10, pick something that's like a five, two, and eight. So it's stretching you out of your comfort zone, but it's not putting you into a, a new place where the new belief is so far from where you actually can believe that you can get there, that it then turns into a joke. Does anyone have any questions? If you do, just put your hand like this and I'll kind of go through the questions fast. So we're just going to say like, I am grateful for it, and then just list different stuff and have it be stuff that you're really grateful, but really feeling it. And it has to, we're looking for stuff that's positive, stuff that has evoked laughter, smiles, <laughs> um, like, uh, you know, giddiness. Anytime I hang out with Andy, it's one of those. <laughs> and then like, you know, even watching the whole thing that she just did for us, the whole presentation, the PowerPoint, I was like, I'm glad I was on mute. I was cracking up just the stuff she was saying and like about health insurance and laughter at the doctors and stuff. So find that and really just step into that and we're all going to just do it at once so i'll count from three two one Wait, and do you want them to all unmute do you want them to all unmute and say yes it? unmute everyone for this please unmute you're unmuted yeah, unicorns oh, my parents my 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 something that really makes you laugh a TV show or a movie, something that really emotional shift. Higher commercial with your body. Okay, so I think everybody should mute again. Here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, okay. 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 Okay negative or not serving or fear or based on anxiety or anything like that, it's going to then create the ripple effect of some kind of emotion that matches that. That's the energy we're sending out. So when you want to, when you need to, like that lifeline, 
how Andy was saying, kind of like health insurance, when you're going to the doctors, if you can have a memory, a sense memory, something you go to that brings you to that state, you automatically break out of that space and set your body into like a freedom that it doesn't have again. And the healing and the stress, it's the opposite of a stress, all the stress hormones that happen in a stressful situation, it's actually shown that it's the exact opposite when you're in the place of laughter, when you're genuinely like authentically connected. So that is just a super quick tool that you can do even in traffic. If any of you are in LA, you probably would need it a lot. Um, <laughs> so, and the next activity is Andy will lead. All right. So hopefully now we're, we, we're getting used to saying things out loud, being accepting out of our comfort zone potentially, but just <laughs> fun. And uh, this next exercise is called energy from one to 10. And we are going to each start at a place of one energy, which whatever that is for you. And we're going to work our way up to a 10 energy, which I don't even know what that looks like. I can't wait to see what it looks like. So we'll go back to gallery view. I just want to look at everybody. So then everyone just right now, just show me your one, your one energy. Okay, cool. All right, now let's move it up to a two. Oh, I'm, I'm twitching. <laughs> okay, okay, now a three. Okay, some people are moving. All right, <laughs> a four. What's happening? Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. A five. A six, come on, get your arms into it. A seven. <laughs> An eight! A nine! <laughs> Some of you are doing yeah, that! You're doing it! That's great! Oh my gosh, what's a ten? I can't handle this yet! That's a ten! That's a ten! That is a dog. Oh, they're dog paddling! Oh my gosh, look at that! Go, go, go! Alright, now let's go to a five. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, whoa, this is my five. Ooh, 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 I'm dribbling. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now let's just go to a one. Okay, now seven. <laughs> my family thinks I'm crazy. They're upstairs. <laughs> okay, now six. That was, I don't know, seven to six is fine. <laughs> Ooh, that's great. <laughs> okay, now 10. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are making me so don't, so don't worry, like, feel free to laugh and have fun. Oh my gosh, I love your smiling faces. This is so fun. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right. Who's having fun? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Okay. So hopefully that if you're laughing, enjoying, having fun, you're feeling it. You're in the moment. You're living life. You're getting all the benefits. And we have another exercise coming on up. And this one is, is, is fun too. I can't wait. Katie, take it away. <laughs> All right, so for this next exercise, um, we're doing kind of the same thing. It's on the scale of one to 10, but we are doing laughter. And so this is actually, I don't know if a lot of you like do yoga or have seen, but a lot of yoga studios actually offer yoga laughter and it's, and it's a whole healing modality. Um, and it's, it's pretty common. So even at like um, retreats and stuff that I've gone to lead breath work and stuff like that, that I do, there's always yoga laughter, which I think is, I thought was crazy. And I definitely was resistant <laughs> at first. I was like, okay, this is going to be weird. Um, and it was weird, but so we're just going to start from a one, like with Andy. And then, so make sure, I know you're all on mute and that's fine, but I'm going to be looking at all of you to make sure that I can like see your throat and making the laughter and see that it's happening. And we're just going to do the laughter from one to 10. Uh, and it's just to release like, and then if you need to put it on, um, the like gallery mode and just look at other people laughing and look at their joy and look at their willingness to just release and their willingness to surrender and just be in the exercise. Because whatever is keeping you from doing stuff that we're inviting you to do, that's what gets in your way everywhere. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you're feeling nervous or something's coming up for you, this is your time to just like, hey, I'm in a safe place. I'm with a bunch of people that all kind of do the same thing as me. 
no one is here to judge me and I'm just laughing because that laughter is literally setting you free and helping your body in so many different ways. So I really want to invite all of you to step into the laughter exercise. Um, there's also one more thing I want to say before. So there's a huge difference because I know there's a lot of time when I have resistance from people stepping into exercises. It's the the mindset of like, this is childish. And there's a huge difference between childish and childlike. Childlike is still intelligent and sophisticated and mature, but with that childlike wonder that can play and that can be in the moment and is so aware of how, uh, what a gift every single second of our life is versus childish, which you know comes with immaturity and all that stuff. So we're going in the childlike wonder place. We're not being childish, we're having fun. So just give yourself permission. I just wanna invite all of you to give yourself permission to just go all out 100% for this laughter exercise and just see what it does to your mindset, to your body physically, to your breathing, everything. Cause it is, uh, it doesn't, if you do it, it works 100% of the time. So if you, if you go all in, it will be there for you. And if you need support, just look at the pictures of people who will be laughing cause it's ridiculous to watch, it's awesome. Okay, so everyone, yeah. take a deep breath and kind of shake it off. All right, and everyone start laughing at a one, whatever a one is to you. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Uh. All right, <laughs> and then start laughing at a two. I love it. Right, and laughing at a three. <laughs> Raven makes me so happy. You're, you like light up when you're laughing. That was really good. Um, laughing at a six. <laughs> laughing at a four. <laughs> laughing at a seven. Laughing at an eight. <laughs> Thank God we have Andy. <laughs> laughing at a nine. <laughs> and now everyone get ready just to give it your all over and over and over. <laughs> laughing at a ten. <laughs> you know, this is your time. <laughs> <laughs> you look at other people. <laughs> give it, give it. <laughs> all right, and then laughing at a two. Catch okay, your breath. <laughs> and laughing at a four. <laughs> and then laughing at a nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. And then I just want you to do one more time. We're going to just go one through ten, straight in an order. And I just want you to just have an awareness. You don't have to do anything with it, but just make an awareness of how you feel and what happens. The one to one. And anything that comes up, that's your ability. That's what you can step into. Be, learn more about like did you resist did you lean in was it fun whatever that is that's there to keep so here we go on one to ten. first ready to take a breath and shake it out again all right here we go laughing at a one <laughs> <laughs> laughing at a two <laughs> laughing at a three <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> You're just so cute. laughing at a Four. Laughing at a five. Laughing at a six. Laughing at a seven. Laughing at an eight. Give it, give it, give it, give it all. Get ready to leave everything out, everything out on the dance floor. Laughing at a nine. All right, and then it's ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then you can just find yourself back to a next. Oh breath. my gosh! <laughs> and so everything that that one definitely, if you're in a public place or somewhere, would be more weird if you just broke out into hysterical laughter, like you might raise, raise concern to people. Where the other one, the count your blessings, you can just do and, and switch yourself out of state. But the laughter, also, we learned from Andy, burns calories. <laughs> Another benefit. But that just can like, if you know you're going somewhere, if you're nervous or whatever, to go into that and to just bring yourself through those numbers actually just breaks you out of whatever's like holding you back in that shell. So that's just another thing we're trying to, we wanted to come up with a bunch of exercises that were things that you can do easily to um, just reframe and, and switch your mindset. So 
Andy will do the next activity. And we're going to oh, do a Q&A at the end, so if you guys have questions. Oh, okay. That was... My face hurts from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like partway through, Alex walks into the room and he's just kind of looking at me and he just like skipped on. He's just like... And I'm like... Ah. <laughs> really funny video. <laughs> It's just me. I'm watching a video. Alex is her husband for people yeah, who don't he's know. just walked by again, too. And then, oh, man, I feel like that cat on that side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for laughing and doing that. Like, that was so fun. Like, oh, uh, I just, you guys make me so happy. You're so cute. <laughs> okay, so for our last exercise, we're going to be dancing, which is fun. So we want you guys to dance, be silly. And what we're going to do is we're going to one at a time. So we're going to be calling people out. We're going to be spotlighting you. And you have to do a dance. And it has to be a dance that hasn't been done before. So try to think of some dance moves. Get ready. And then I have um, a YouTube video of a kid's bop song I'm going to play. Is that OK to have? Does that sound OK? Or wait, is it? Can you hear it? Because it, I don't know. If no, we can't hear it. Hear it. The okay, I, I'm gonna go. Can you hear that? No. Yes. Oh, Katie can hear it. Can you or are you just dancing? Yeah, we hear it. Okay, so that's why you're just dancing. <laughs> I did hear it. Okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna dance first, and my dance move is. Unicorns. Do we all copy you, Andy? What's that? <laughs> do we all copy you? Like, do we do what oh, dance yeah. movie you do? Everyone copy what I'm doing, and then we'll go to Katie. Good, thank you. So everyone do the unicorn. <laughs> okay. All right, now Katie, you go. It's a pincher crab. <laughs> Andy, 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 we can't hear the music. Oh, H Helene, you'll spotlight someone else and then we'll do, and you'll yeah. spotlight people and then we'll do whatever dance they yep, do. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm so going to be spotlighting. you become the big sense? picture, you're going to do your dance move. We just need the, um, it's just that we need the sound, the volume on the music. It's hard to dance without the music. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry about that. Oh. Okay, so can we not have music? <laughs> this is your party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll keep going. So we'll keep dancing and then we'll spotlight someone. So Helene, so you'll spotlight someone and then whatever dance moves they do, we'll all do it. And Helene will just keep spotlighting people and you have to do a different song. Sorry. I, as I spotlight them, should I yell out their name so they know? Yeah. Oh, okay. totally. Yeah. And, okay. and I think hopefully if they're not in gallery mode, they'll just pop up. Oh, okay. So the people who I know get ready first. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me get the song back up. This seems like, oh no. <laughs> okay. We're doing it. Okay. Okay, Christy, here we go. And I keep, then I keep going. Okay, so now we got Maria Victoria. You're up. <laughs> and now we're going to go to Kelsey. Get ready, Kelsey. Good one. <laughs> And now we are going to go all the way to Mexico. Get ready, Pedro. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and now we are going to Costa Rica. Oh, let's get Betsy on there. Ready, Betsy? Heads up. Go. <laughs> He's been on TikTok. <laughs> And 
And then we're gonna go to Janet. Get ready, Janet. What's your move? Oops, that was not Janet. <laughs> Next up is Raven. better with music, but. <laughs> All right. Here come Monica. <laughs> the baby dance. Have a baby real quick. <laughs> and get ready, Helene, going to New York oh. City. Oh, double baby. Yeah. He's been practicing all day. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to Belva. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! I can do that. <laughs> and now he's on. Woo! I'm a sweet son. No, Danielle. I got this feeling. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. Here, 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 George, here we come. <laughs> Suzanne Bowman is on phone, but we can't see her. Suzanne's hiding. We can't do it. Can you see Nicole, Nicole, um, yeah, those kids are <laughs> dancing on the floor. Nicole, like B O B B E. Oh, Nicole, I can't. Where are they? There's two kids here. dancing on the floor, and they're amazing. Oh, they're they're watching watching Elliot. Let me find Elliot here. Where's Elliot? Where's Elliot? Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. I found him. There's Elliot and his sister. Oh, we can do that in this chair. All right. Yes, y'all have to do that, everyone. <laughs> do that, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, we want to see you do that. <laughs> You're up, Nikki. All right, Elliot. Good job. <laughs> Whoa! All right, I'm gonna try. Wow. Back to you, Andy. <laughs> She's Whoa! Like, How's that? <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, okay. So did everyone get to dance who wanted to dance? I want to make oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, that was so fun. So uh, were you guys laughing while you were doing I saw I saw some laughing. I saw some smiling. Yes. How do you guys feel? I'd be nice to just maybe kind of, if there's anyone who wants to share like their experience just kind of over the workshop, if you've noticed anything, if you feel better, like, uh, uh, raise your hand and maybe yeah raise your hand and wave and i'll unmute you and we'll do it one at a time okay we have was george did you raise your hand no i can't find george george oh yeah maybe you. they want to have something to say about how good they feel hmm and nikki come on we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna put nikki bobby on the spot with because of uh elliot i see yeah. nikki 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 how to go there? You're, you you can unmute yourself. <laughs> can you unmute her? Hang on. I, I am trying to unmute her. Nice. I wonder if people, if they can. Unmute. She's chatting away. There we go. Nikki, you're Nikki, off, you're off you. Go ahead. We can't hear you. Okay, this is not, this part's not working. <laughs> Cell phone, Nikki. Are you on a cell phone? Yes. Yeah. So try someone who has the bigger picture, because sometimes if there's an issue with the cell phone, for uh, when I do this with my clients, it happens to cell phones. It's harder to unmute. Oh, so let's ask Betsy. Betsy, how are you feeling? Okay, unmute yourself. Hey. Yes. Hey, I'm feeling 
so good. Like I had a really stressful day at work and after this, like I feel like I complete a whole new person. Thank you. That's awesome. That makes me so happy. Oh Thank you. God. I was so excited about this session. Uh, and the best part is you can take what you did here and then you bring that energy and you can help someone else. You know, like it's so contagious. It's so magnetic. It's, we don't want COVID to be contagious. We want laughter to be contagious. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Why don't we go to the questions, Andy? There's some great questions oh, that we have yeah. in the chat. So if anybody has any questions for Andy or for Katie, um, you go right in the chat. Can you see them, Andy, or you want me to read those to you? Yeah, read one out because I, um, I can, let me see. I okay, I got it. It's right here. Okay. So the first question was, and people started replying in the app, but okay. I, think, I think you want to hear from you. What are your favorite responses to the typical MARF questions? Like, how tall are you? Do you play basketball? Did you know you were tall? You know, those kind of questions that you hear. What do you say? So I took that as an opportunity to give a performance. So if people were like, wow, do you play basketball? I would say, no, I am the basketball. And I would just like bounce around and jump around and be silly. Be like, sometimes I'm the net, you know? And I would just be the net and just make it so that it was like, I kind of took the power back because instead of it's them kind of judging me, being like, oh, wow, you're so tall. Why are you so tall? And if sometimes if they'd ask like, like, gosh, you're so tall, or they say something like that, I would be like, what? Are you, see oh my gosh, I can't see the ground. <laughs> Just, so I, I did use it in a way of, that's kind of where I got my comedy from was like, just having fun with people and making it silly. And it is fun. I say take some time to sit down and come up with some responses because it, you know, it's your, it's your, we're all in our own play. This is our own movie that we're all in. And I mean, what are they expecting? Like, do you play basketball? It's either yes or no. Like, but who cares? <laughs> but, well, I think there, there was a lot of good answers in the app. So yeah. like, you know, look and see what everybody else said. So oh, um, totally. This is something, I mean, this is the, the question that's going to go down in Mark and history is, you know, this is the, the, the question that defines us. <laughs> so here's a question. Here's a question that was in there all day. So I'm not sure if this person still has the same question considering they just went through this with you this past 45 <laughs> minutes, but um, the question is, everyone says that laughter is the best medicine. What makes you laugh besides everything? How do you feel when you make others laugh? But how do you feel when you make others laugh? Yeah, it is. It's, it is true that I do a laugh. I do laugh easy. I, 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 I enjoy that moment and I'm, 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 I'm used to just being awkward and uncomfortable and I laugh for all the ton of reasons, but it's really cool as a comedian because I talk to people after shows and they'll come up to me and say like, I'm having a really hard day. Like I'm going through something at work and I came here and now I feel it totally different. I feel totally different. It, it is an escape. Mm. And it is healing. And that is why I do it because you do get to change people's lives. I just, I want them to feel silly and fun and childlike like Katie described just getting into that moment of of living in the moment so I, that's why I love it like my mom wanted me to be a doctor but I think this is this is cool this is cool. well speaking of the doctor so every, I mean one person wrote this question but everybody really wants to know so everybody knows about your recent medical scare you were kind of public about it on Facebook so how are you feeling and how do you motivate yourself to keep going on yeah, so I, um, I, I was actually, oh, I don't know how much detail to go into, but I'm okay, comfortable talking about it. But yeah, I was found unresponsive and my husband found me and we called 911 and I went to the ambulance and they took me and they just, my heart had just gone into AFib. And I, after a week, they still were kind of trying to solve it, but now I have a pacemaker, which is pretty cool. I got another robot implant. I'm completing the transformation. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good, but it's still, it's hard right now because it's still a mystery. There's still things we're still trying to solve. So I'm very much involved with the Marfan um, community. I mean, uh, for most of the time, but now especially just using the resources and things to, to solve the new, the new mysteries that I have. But life is, it was just another reminder that life is a gift. It was just, and it was during COVID. So I couldn't be with my family. And my family actually, they made signs and stood on the parking structure across the way. So they had all these signs like, we love you. 
we, and then they were like honking and like, and then saying just like, get well soon. And then my brother had a sign that said, Packers suck, which I <laughs> hilarious too, because everyone else in the hospital looked out their window and they were just like, wow, that person really does, doesn't like the Packers. <laughs> Nikki's laughing because she's a Chiefs fan. <laughs> um, so I just want to talk about laughter yoga a little bit because Rowan is on. Rowan, I'm going to unmute you. I want to spotlight you because um, was it Katie that was talking about um, laughter yeah. yoga? So Katie, what, you talk about laughter yoga a little bit. I'm going to find Rowan here and bring her on because she said she, that she, um, she says good. that she does laughter yoga every week in Montreal and she's written about it in one of her books. She's written a lot of incredible books that would be you know, relationships with chronic illness and all that. So if I can find Roanne, she can come and join you in this conversation about laughter yoga. It sounds like, it, it sounds um, like laughter and yoga don't go together, but that's me. <laughs> I think uh, she Rowan, might. Where are you? Roanne, unmute yourself if you're here still. I saw you before. Here she is. Unmuting, Ro trying to unmute Roanne. I don't know if she's on a phone though. Anyway, do you want to say something about, about well, laughter yoga? Can you, can you hear me? Yes, we hear yeah. you. Oh, okay. I'm on my laptop and I'm using Firefox and it's a new, I don't usually, anyway, I usually use Zoom, but this is not Zoom. But if you can, if it works, it works. I mean, I'm here. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Rowan. So I'm looking, for, so we don't have your picture, but tell us about um, Laughter Yoga. So um, my very first book, I interviewed a, a heart failure patient and he was sent to Duke University to, um, he treated and they put him in a laughter yoga group. He had never heard about this before and I had never heard about it before, but he said it actually helped him recover. And for all the reasons they mentioned, it's actually clinically shown that it really does have physiological benefits, all of them that you mentioned and even more. And it actually helped cure this man of heart failure. So I was impressed and so I started doing it. I did it while I was living in Boston, and then when I just moved to Montreal three years ago, moved back home here um, to be Canadian again, I started doing it here. And now I do it every week. It's actually on Zoom because of COVID, but people come from all, all over the place, not just Montreal, now they're coming from all, all over the world. And there's a doctor in India called Dr. Kataria, you can Google him, he has a website. He's the one who started the yeah, laughter yoga 25 years ago because he, in India, because he felt that it benefited his patients physically, medically. And now it's a worldwide movement. And on his website, he does it almost every day. He has laughter yoga sessions. He has, it's, it's, it's all over the world now and it's on Zoom, so anybody can do it. If you just Google doctor, uh, laughter yoga and doctor, Kataria, K-A-T-A-R-I-A. -A -A. You can find laughers everywhere. And um, it even works on Zoom, as you know. And Rowan, what's the name of your book? What's the name of your book that you wrote about it in? Oh, it's called um, Own Your Health. It's my oh. first book. It may yeah. even be out of print now, but you have it, I think. I have it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just if you Google my name, it's there. I've written... Um, other books also, but the, the laughter one is in that book. And Rowan is on our. Rowan has written for the Marfan blog, so if you can go on the web, if you can go on the Marfan website and and Google her, and search for her name, and you'll find her there. Thank you. I've actually I've written about my son on the on the blog as well, who has Marfan as well. Yes. I think he's is he still on your board or is he not? Ben, off, I think he's off right now, but he's never gone from us. He's always around. He's actually he's, helping with the session on Saturday. So. No, I know. Thank you so much. I'm going to go back to Andy who's laughing about something. And uh, here's another question for Andy. Yeah. How do you manage negativity from others when you try to cheer them up? Oh, gosh, it is. I think it's just about trying to be there for someone. And you kind of just want to feel like what they're feeling. And you don't want to force something like you can't just I can't just start telling jokes to someone. <laughs> you know, you kind of have to feel it out. But I do like being a person who who can I'm I'm, I'm I consider myself an empath, <clears throat> and it it does take on it is I do consider it kind of a skill, because it is something I worked on as just like being there for someone I I work on it like 
I'm learning and I'll have interactions with people. And if it doesn't go well, I try to learn from it to just be a better person who can be there for people. And you can read about it and things like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of like literature on it and studies on just how to empathize with someone because you can't really control someone's emotions or get them to feel happy. You can't force it, but you can be there for someone and listen and, and practice at it. And that's kind of what I try to do. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, does anybody have any other questions for Andy or for Katie? Yay. Or any other things they want to share? Katie, what are you doing on Friday? Oh, yeah. Can I pitch? The one yes, pitch your, pitch, your, pitch your other session. Mm -hmm. All right. So at the same time, on Friday, I am doing an art therapy. So it's a mixture of um, empowerment and art therapy put together with with like spontaneous. So it's the unconscious mind coming together with the conscious mind. And then we're just, you just need crayons or markers and then paper or poster board. And then we're going to just step into a more empowering way of being. So I'm going to teach you about the way of being and how to step into who we want to be more of. And then we're going to create an art project with it. So you can be any age um, and it's just fun. And it's going to kind of just be like a, almost like a hangout thing where we all create it. So we talk and we learn and then we all get to just choose who we want to be, what we want to call in, like what values we want to be stepping into more. I think with everything being so uncertain through all of this, like COVID time and stuff like that, it's really important to like what we do have control over. If we don't have control over our bodies or our health and stuff like that, what can we control? And so it's taking all of that and really like doing, using art therapy and using that, those kind of techniques, but in an empowering way to like reclaim who we are despite what's going on. So a world can be chaotic and we are gonna be like firmly grounded. So if you have other stuff like paint and stuff, you're welcome to it if you're an artiste. Um, but I'm just requiring like markers or crayons or colored pencils, something so you can do it, but colorful and then paper. So I would love if you guys all come back and join me. And I think Andy, you're coming, right? Yeah. You'll get to hear her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cat. Yeah. So, so um, Andy, do you have any final words? So I have a couple of final announcements, but um, do you have any other points that you would like to make? You want me to just kind of close it up? I mean, I'll just say thank you guys so much for being here and for also just for being part of the community and for supporting me because I know I, if you guys, if any of you are in the Marfan group on Facebook, that's another place to find support and things like that. But thank you guys for being there for me, for making me laugh. And I hope you guys had fun. And um, hopefully I'm in a town near you in the future and you can come to one of my shows. But thank you. Guys. Thank Andy, thank you so much. I just have a couple of things to add before we close off tonight and say good night. Um, so there's a session survey in the app. Um, it's, right, it's right where you're, I think you are now in Whova. And so you rate the session and you know, if you'd like Andy and Katie, you wanna read it well, highly. Um, also, we hope that you'll visit the exhibitors in our virtual exhibit hall. They've been very supportive of the Marfan Foundation, so we want to show them the love also. So watch their videos, give them a like, ask some questions, and hopefully they will keep supporting us. So be there for them. Uh, connect with community. Um, Andy mentioned the Facebook group, but obviously it's incredible connecting with everybody in the app. What's going on in there is amazing. You can meet people from all over the world. Um, in whatever language you want. So that is so much fun. There's a leaderboard and you get points and there will be a prize at the end. So um, be in there and, you know, find out about the foundation, talk to all of us in there, but more importantly, talk to each other. Um, there's so much support and help everywhere, every corner of the globe. And finally, if you learned something fun tonight or you had a good, you got a good tip out of Andy and Katie, share it on your social media um, tag them because they love that too. And then yeah. use our hashtag, which is um, E3 Summit 20. And we want to see all the love out there. And, you know, there's still, you know, two more, there's still the rest of this week and then two more weeks of the summit. So, um, you know, bring a friend, somebody else in the Marfan community, member of your family that either has Marfan or Louis Seats or Beds or somebody or one of your friends just to learn something about what you're going through. Um, you know, it's free. So have them register and um, learn a little bit about what you're going through and maybe have some fun with them in art therapy and, um, you know, get a lot out of this. So um, thank you all for coming tonight. And I will just give you all a, a gallery view again and we can see everybody and we can say good night. And I just want to say also 
Thank you, everybody. And it's so great to see some, so many familiar faces. And guys like uh, Andy and Katie say, keep on laughing every day. Keep on laughing. Mm -hmm. So good to see you. And enjoy. Thank you, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye. Love you.